What's up guys? We're gonna get Dan the fitness man found here. We're gonna do some updates on my bow. This is the crispy ultra view grip special and I just wanted to give you some perspective on it, kind of give you our thoughts. We're gonna rip some arrows, hang with us. Let's get this baby on and fire a few. <laughs> the funky knobs too. You see those? You like those funky knobs down? I think those might be money, dude. All right, here's the moment of truth. <laughs> All right, I would say I have, I wear a large size golf glove, so that should give you a good reference for that grip size. We'll get it on the bow, get some reps through it, get it mounted up. We're down here in Dan the Fitness Man's basement in the pro shop. We'll bring you along, get it on the bow, rip some shots and uh, get you some thoughts. What's the name of this vice? This is October Mountain Products. Are you sure you want to do this? Yeah, this is in the pursuit of tinkering. Tink tinks. You good? Yep. She gone. Let's. We're just trying some new stuff. This is. We're calling Chris B right now. To you guys on the channel, I've called Chris B once, left him a message, and this was how long ago, Tim? Two months, a month and a half ago. Oh. You've reached Chris B. If you can, please shoot me a text message. If not, I'll get back with you shortly. <laughs> you sure you want to do this? Please record your message. When you finish recording, you may hang up or press one for more options. Christopher, this is Dan the Fitness Man Elk Shape, voicemail number two. <laughs> Hit me back, you got my number. All right, so Chris, me, if you're watching, always call people back. All right, so we're gonna slip this on here, like so. The owner is Col Colby, and he was like an engineer, uh, archery nerd, and. Did you pay for this? Yeah, okay, yeah. I How much like, is it? I like paying for my archery stuff. I think it's 70 or 75 bucks. Did you Brandon McDonald this? <laughs> <laughs> I like paying for my stuff, man, because I like giving honest opinions. And I, I like trying their stuff too, because they're they're young and they're entrepreneurs. And I think that's cool, man. So Yeah, I, so I would say shoot it and see if it moves at all, but it like, it, it fit on there tight. Throw your hand on there, give us your, give us your first thoughts. I've shot it before. You have shot it? Yeah, yeah. at a camp, at an archery camp in Texas. They had a, some guy had it there. I really like it. I do. I think it's awesome. I like texture right here. Yeah. I think that's important. I can jive on that. I like side plates too. Do you know the dimensions in millimeters of the width of the riser? I think it's 15 mil. You definitely made it bigger. You made it wider, yeah. But uh, I'm usually the first one to pull an engage grip or whatever they call it at Matthews. I'm usually the first one to pull it off and put side plates on. So if you don't like side plates, I could see this being pretty cool. Oh, I've always heard that like narrow grips shooting off the riser is gonna give you the most feedback. I'll be honest, if I'm just giving my amateur opinion, which is just that, an amateur opinion, not a professional shooter at all, Joe, very Joe Ordinary, um, I've always gravitated towards bigger grips. So, bigger grips for bigger hips. Just remember that. Like my grips like I like my ladies, you know what I mean? Let's go put the some arrows through it. I'm out here working, trying to do what I can. I'm out here sweating, dripping blood from my hands. Doing what I'm good at. Just doing what I'm made for. Let's take a minute to talk about this. Ultra View Crispy Matthews Grip. But first, we are very, very close to hitting 30K subs on this channel at the drop of this video. So all I can say is that is that we've got something special in the hopper for all of you and to be there. Just be there. That's all I can say. That's all I can say, just be there. Okay, let's talk about this grip. Before we talk about the grip, let's talk about Ultra View as a company really quick. I like to support entrepreneurs whenever it's possible. And it's cool to see this company kind of start and grow and, and continue to grow. 
And to me, from the outside looking in, in my amateur opinion, is they seem to be very thoughtful about the design process. They seem like they're trying to solve genuine problems within the archery community, and I like that. Let me give you my amateur opinion on this grip. And just to clarify that, that's what it is. When I'm on here talking about archery, it's coming from a very average Joe Schmo, Joe Average type perspective. I do try hard. I do love hunting. I am going to spend this year working with MFJJ to get better at my technical archery, but I'm not your technical archery expert, nor do I want to be. I just want to be a guy who goes out into the woods, who's confident with his weapon. When I'm trying this grip, that's kind of my perspective. But what I do like about it is I do like the texture. I like all of that in the grip. It feels good. The support in my hand coming off of that solid platform feels really, really good. Now, after getting a decent amount of reps with this, here's what I can say. I don't know that it's going to be on my bow come this fall. I need to shoot it more. I do like it. It's on my bow right now, and it's going to stay on there for the time being. I didn't have a problem with the side plates either, but I wanted to try this in the name of tinkering. A, B, T. That's why this is on my bow. I wanted to try something new. I wanted to give a shout out to these guys and just try their product. I really am a fan of this hinge. I've been shooting this release the most recently, and the grip, well, it's here for now. What I think you should do is I think if you're not happy with your grip, I think it's absolutely worth tinkering on. I think that trying to be better is a good thing and trying to figure out what works for you is a good thing. This is gonna stay on my bow for now. I like the width of it. I wanted to try another UltraView product. I think it's cool. I think you should try it too if it's something you're thinking about. Subscribe to the channel if you're not already. Give the video a thumbs up. That stuff actually helps. And we will catch y'all back here for the 30K subs special. Yeah, you bet I'm gonna